Hello everyone, how are you? Today, I am going to show you how to provision one DynamoDB table with CloudFormation template. This is very much needed in many parts of our job and it is very important to know the template and how it works. This will be a very short video about the template and provisioning. We will go through the template first and we will deploy the template with our stacks. If you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe and comment your thoughts. Let me know what you like and what you didn't like. I will try to make some recommended video from you guys if you have any. So sit tight and enjoy. So to provision AWS DynamoDB table, we need one CloudFormation template. So first of all, we will have one CloudFormation template. So this CloudFormation template, we will go through it uh, line by line and we will understand what it does and what the uh, syntax means in cloud formation the cl in cloud formation very important part is the indentation so if you don't do indentation correctly uh, then the cloud formation template will not be valid uh, so the cloud formation template needs to be valid uh, so for that we will use v vs code uh, to verify the cloud formation template to view it in a, in a very structured way and from that cloud formation template we will provision one dynamodb table so this is a very simple tutorial where I will intro uh, where I will show you how CloudFormation works and how we will upload this CloudFormation template in AWS and how we will provision the DynamoDB table uh, with this CloudFormation template. So how we are going to do it? So as a developer, we first of all have a CloudFormation template, and this CloudFormation template needs to be uploaded from somewhere. So AWS recommends always that uh, to upload it from an S3 bucket. So first of all, we will create one S3 bucket and upload our cloud formation template to that S3 bucket. And from that S3 bucket, we will create the stack. That is, we will create the stack from that S3 bucket template and the stack will be created. And upon creation of the stack, the DynamoDB table will be created. So we will upload the template file in S3 and from S3, we will point the cloud formation template and, in, and uh, virtually uh, this cloud formation template will provision the DynamoDB table. So this is as simple as that. So let's go now. And check out the cloud formation template what it what it does so this is my template uh, file dynamodb uh, template file uh, which is a yaml document so cloud formation is a yaml document which uh, aws understand uh, for stack creation so what is stack so stack is something that we have to create here we have to define our stack which will be deployed as a resource uh, so here to create the template, first of all, this two part is very important. AWS template uh, format version. This is this is very important. This needs to be as it is. Otherwise, it will not work. The version for AWS template format version. This needs to be th like this. Uh, uh, 2010 high minus uh, 09 minus 09. So this should be the template version and the description. Description is the one that we can define ourselves. So we have defined that this is a cloud formation template to create the DynamoDB table. So after this two line, we see that there is uh, uh, one gap here and there is one, uh, this is a string variable, so this is fine, but there is no gap in between. And after that, we have one uh, line split and we will remove this line split. Uh, then we will give another one. So this line split we have uh, with this uh, template and then the parameter starts. So what is parameters? So parameters is something kind of variable that we can utilize in our function later. Uh, so here we have defined two parameter. One is name and one is type. So element name. So uh, when we define the parameter, we have to define three things. Uh, what is the type of the parameter? What is the default value of the parameter and the description of it? So the type uh, is the name, uh, the type is the string. So this is a string type parameter, which is the default value is employee ID and the description is name. So this is a name parameter. So we are defining a name parameter here. So where we will use this parameter. So I will come this, uh, come back to this later. Now, another parameter I am defining here is the type. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, type of this element and the type here is also string and the default is S. Uh, this is the value uh, that DynamoDB table understands. Uh, if it is a type of string, then we have to define it as S. And the description is that this field defines as 
type of the parameter. So this is name and this is type. Nice. Now the important part comes here is the resource. In the resource section of AWS uh, uh, template or this YAML template, we have to define what kind of resource we need to deploy. So for that, we are defining a logical ID that is the employee table. This is the employee table. So this can be anything. This we can define by ourselves. So employee table, this one we have defined. And what is the type of this employee table? So the type of the employee table is AWS DynamoDB table. So this is very important. This type is a predefined type from AWS. If you, you, you will find that in AWS documentation. So as we are provisioning AWS DynamoDB table, then the type should be AWS DynamoDB table. So this is the type that we are defining and we are saying that this is AWS DynamoDB table type. We need one AWS DynamoDB table. So after defining this resource uh, here we need to prov we need to provide a couple of properties of the resources the couple of mandatory properties so not everything here that i have defined is mandatory the one that mandatory is i will um, I, I will come to that now so for properties we need table name so if we are defining one dynamodb table it has to be one table name so let me go through the um, let, let me go through the ui you will understand how it compares them so let me open up the ui so I'm in the management console and you see here uh, in the DynamoDB table, if I go to DynamoDB, then if I open this create table option, so we see that we have to first of all give table name and this is a mandatory profile and we have to give partition key. These two are mandatory values and if we give this two value and just select on create table, it will, the table will be created. So the short key is kind of optional. So the table name is mandatory. So if I see here, the table name, I have given as employee. So this is an employee table. And now the attribute definition. So the attributes, the properties that the table will have. So th these are the table properties and these are the resource properties. Don't, uh, so don't confuse in between this. So attribute definition is we have one attribute. So the attribute name is element name and we are referring this element name from our parameter. So remember I told you that I will come back to this later. So it will, so by this variable, exclamation marks then ref so this is called reference in a yaml template a cloud formation template so this will refer to the employee name that is defined in the parameter and it will take the default value here employee id so the attribute name is will be our employee id and the attribute type it will also go it will also refer to the uh, element type and the default value it will take as s that means string so the attribute definition is that we have the employee ID that is this one, the partition key that is a primary key. It has this employee ID and the type is string. So this is one attribute. This has nothing to do with our primary key. We will define our primary key here, the key schema. In the key schema, we have this and attribute name and we are referring to the attribute name called element name and the key type is has. So this is how we define our primary key of this attribute. We, this, if you see here, this is a list. So we can define another uh, attribute and uh, do it is uh, do it as a sort key. That is that shown up here, a sort key. This one is optional, so I have not given it. So I have tried to give it as minimal as possible to provision this uh, DynamoDB table from our cloud formation template. So this is the provision throughput. So how much it can read and write so this is also kind of default value even if we just remove this one it will work so because this is not required so if we see here in the uh, management console we don't give this one so provision read capacity and uh, provision write capacity is already given uh, like five defaults so that's why i have given five so i uh, default setting i am using so if you want to do customized setting then you can define whatever you want but i am saying that default setting is okay for me so this is why I am not changing it. And for the outputs, I am outputting the whole table name as the value and it will output in my uh, CloudFormation stack. The table itself, it will output or it will give me the difference of the table link. So this is a very uh, simple CloudFormation template. Uh, uh, so we have gone through it now. Now what we will do, we will upload this template into our S3 bucket. So first of all, we have to create one S3 bucket. So let's go into management console and create the S3 bucket. And first of all, I will save this file. 
and in the management console i will go to s3 yes i want to leave and in s3 i will create a bucket so maybe i will give the bucket name is dynamo db table create and then my channel name this is fine and i will create the bucket and this is my bucket and while the bucket is created now we have to upload the template so i will select upload and then add files and from that i am pointing to my yaml file and i will upload it now so here it is uploaded uh, it is selected sorry and then i will click on upload as soon as i click on upload it will be uploaded so now my file is in my bucket now let's go to cloud formation so we will go to cloud formation now and on the cloud formation i will select create stack with new resource we don't have any existing resource because we are creating this dynamo db table from scratch so we have to select new resource and i will select this template is ready and i have to give the s3 url for this so for that again we have to go back to our s3 and under this bucket we have this file from the s3 uri we will copy this s3 uh, uri and we will paste it here so this is my s3 uri of my template so this is very good practice to upload uh, uh, the template file every um, every time from this s3 bucket so this is a very good practice otherwise we can upload it from our local machine itself but uh, aws recommends to do that from this s3 uri so i have pasted the s3 uri and this is a very cool uh, part where we can uh, view it in designer as well what this cloud formation template will do so basically it will all uh, in background it will validate the template whether it is fine or not and it will show us in designer what it actually do so let me show you this one so it shows me that this is the template that i will upload and this template this has a yaml template this is a yaml template and it will create one dynamo db table so this is the aws dynamo db table type and it will create an employee table remember we have given the name table name as employee so it will create an employee table uh, and it has a dynamo db table property so this is fine so what i will do i will close it so my template it seems my template is correct then again i okay i will go to this uh, create stack again and i will paste this s3 uri so it seems i have provided the s3 uri that does not work like that so what we have to give is we have to give this object url so it will take from this object url so uh, this is the object url so you will find the object url right below this uh, uh, this properties uh, is object url and from that object url we will click on next and we have to define we have to now give a, a stack name so i will give the stack name as create dynamo db table and the element so these are the two parameters that i am passing uh, the name is employee id the property uh, the param uh, primary key name and the type is uh, string we click on next and right now i will not give anything else and click on next and it will ask me to review my uh, components here and i will submit so as soon as i submit this uh, it will create one job that is the stack uh, create dynamo db stack and it has some events so it is showing that the employee table uh, is created this is the stack creation this is the stable creation so the resource creation is initiated uh, we see that the resource is dynamo db table this is the create complete as we can see that in resource right now the dynamo db table creation is complete so if we refresh this stack itself the stack itself is completed now and the outputs we have given the um, output as dynamo db table right so it will give me the output as uh, employee my table name and if we want to go to the resource uh, if we want to go to the employee table itself uh, we have to click on this employee here this will directly go to the dynamo db table that has been created so this is my employee table that is created by uh, my template and now we can explore uh, table items as we don't have anything uh, we will we cannot see anything uh, we can create items here so this is my employee id and i will give 001 uh, as a value and i can create item so this is my first item is created employee id uh, we can also create uh, another item maybe 002 this has to be unique uh, remember we have added this as a primary key uh, now 
uh, this is uh, this is another uh, set of variable that we have added and we can delete uh, another one to delete this one so we have to go to actions and delete items and we can delete this one so uh, only one item is pending so this is how uh, we will provision or we provision and um, DynamoDB table uh, from our cloud, uh, cloud formation template. So this was a very short video on uh, uh, on how to create a DynamoDB table with using a cloud formation template. You can modify the template whatever you want. I will also give this template to uh, my GitHub repository. You can take the code directly from there. So let me know how you like this video. Uh, if you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe and comment your thoughts. Uh, let me know in which part I can make video uh, out of it. Uh, I will be back with another exciting video. Till then, goodbye, take care.